let's set up a fresh Drupal environment with Composer. Okay, so before doing so, I want to uh, tell you guys that I'm using this documentation. This documentation has almost everything what I'm going to tell you in this video. So do read this documentation as it will help you in covering almost everything what a Drupal developer would need to know for using Composer in their project. Uh, so yeah. Also, this is a pretty intensive, this will take a lot of time to understand and grasp what is written over here. Uh, and this video will help in doing so in a couple of mi minutes. So do watch the complete video. Okay. Now coming coming to the top uh, point, I'm for installing a setting up a Drupal environment, I'm going to use this command. So let's run this and see what it will do. So it is downloading everything for me. Uh, you can see it is downloading all the packages for me. So it is evaluating, Composer is evaluating whatever, what all is needed for a basic Drupal setup, all the dependencies and it has downloaded them. Now let me see, let me go to the my project file and then you see, okay. So it has downloaded Composer.json, Composer.log, vendor and web so my my depend my libraries should be inside vendor folder let me go to vendor and check if it is there yeah you can see that and let me check to web so i delete this template which is the recommended template by drupal drupal recommended project it downloads the stable latest drupal version which is uh which is you can see drupal 9.1.8 in my case or if one want to install any other version they can specify 0.1 point something whatever so specify the version here so it will download that version for you now um so it how it does so so basically whenever we write this command it will run composer install right after downloading everything for me so uh what and it will download that uh, inside web folder of my my project directory now what if if i want to download or uh, set up my project inside any other directory other than web uh, i or i simply don't want to download anything uh, while creating a project so in that case i can avoid uh, or tell Composer to not run Composer install or download the libraries. It will simply or simply uh, get me Composer log or JSON and I will do the rest of the things. So for that, I can go to my or go to the command I use and I will tell uh, this is my project, my plane project. I'll go to create project and I will specify no install here and then we'll run it so it will simply download this template for me and let me go to the directory my plane project and see what is there so now it has composer.json it has composer.log now we can go or set up our Drupal environment like we do by going to the web and then providing the database and everything else over here. 